Que Good afternoon, everyone. But today I should be saying Buenas tardes todos. See, we're going to be in Espanol today. First Buenas time. noches. First time. First time. Buenas noches. Yes, 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 exactly. So, my name is Kavir Segel. I'm the host of the Quarantine Concert Series. We're coming to you on vivo live from Atlanta in, in casa de mis padres. And so I want to say hello to my mom. Hola, mamá. She is watching, but I need you to get off the internet so I can be in full speed. So muchas gracias, mamá. Um, also, I wanted to say this is show number 87, 87. And we are going to retire soon. We're going to retire soon. We're going to finish the show, finito the show, after show number 100. A lot of you are writing me and saying, what are you going to do after show number 100? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. C Camilo, Sanjo, and me, and I, we're going to go fishing. We're going to go into a boat and go fishing. If we have it, let's show them the boat that we've rented. I don't know if we have the boat ready to show them, but we love to show that we have a yellow boat and we're going to go. I have my Hawaiian shirt on, me camisa Hawaiian, uh, because we want to go relaxing. There's the boat right there, the big yellow boat. And I'm fishing in the back, right, the back of the boat. And there's Carlos, excuse me, at the bottom. there's uh, Camilo helping me to fish. There's Sandra, who's driving the boat. She's the Gran Jefa, Sandra, with Don Pedro, Sonambra, that's Oreo, and then Maui. So we have their dogs, and we're going to be going fishing on the boat together. It's going to be a great trip. I'm excited. I'm very excited to, I don't know how I'm going to spend all this free time without all the musicians. I'll figure out something. All right, by now you know what we're doing. Uh, we are hosting the Quarantine Concert Series every night at 10 p.m. Eastern. On the weekends, we have matinee showings at 3 p.m. matinee showing of what you're watching right now. Um, we're going through international pandemic. There's many people who are sick, many people who are ill. We've lost so many people during this tragic time. It's really been a, a international tragedy, an international tragedy. So uh, we put this, we created the concert series to put the spotlight, to put the spotlight back on artists, back on people who deserve it. These incredible artists, the musicians, the virtuosos, the geniuses, heniuses. And so we want to make sure that we show a lot of love to the artists because they're the ones who make life, I think, worth living. They're the ones that um, entertain us and give us great music and give us great experiences. So I feel the more that we can be there for the artists, the better. And there's many ways that you, that you can also be there for the artists. I wrote an article for the newspaper, Yo Escribo uh, para el Periodico. I'm trying to translate for my friend Carlos so he understands a little bit what's happening. And it's called Become a Patron of the Arts to Help the U.S. Economy Get Back in Tune. Some 5%, 5% of the U.S. economy comes from the creative sector. Televisions, películas, movies, 5%, billions of dollars. In, independent musicians are part of this. Independent musicians, the people who live in our communities, are part of this number. So if we want to have a resilient economy, we need to support our art, artists. There's multiple ways to do this. You can become a patron. Go to the website of the artists that you love. Buy their music. You know, Buy their merchandise. Buy all of their equipment right? Uh, that they have, that, that they're sponsoring or that they're selling. Um, become a patron on patreon.com. Find the artist. You know, take a private lesson. Um, you can also uh, host a private show like this or a public show. Multiple ways to support artists. Very important to do if you can. And so uh, we can all support artists. It's important, important. As we're signing off this, this concert series, uh, we hope that this concert has left you inspired and encouraged to bring music into your life in different ways. All right, one more thing. I also want to uh, talk about the All About Jazz website. They simulcast simulcast our concerts so we want to thank all about jazz for their partnership for distributing the wonderful wonderful music 
and they're 25 years old. 25 years old. So happy anniversary to All About Jazz. If you're an artist, go make an artist page. If you're a patron, go help them if you can. Um, you know, I think it's so important to support the jazz journalism happening in our community. We need to be there for this entire ecosystem of creative professionals. All right, moving on. I've started a conversation with directors for film directors, directores de películas, right, with Sammy Khan. Uh, this is an example. These are conversations with filmmakers because all the festivals have been canceled. Tribeca, canceled. South by Southwest, canceled. Cannes Film Festival, canceled. Um, so without the festivals, it's difficult to get the distribution. It's difficult to get the... It's difficult to get all the pro all the stuff um, out there, you know what I mean, uh, to support the artists, support the filmmakers. So this is a conversation I had with Sammy Khan. He is an Academy Award, an Oscar nominee. He has, let's look at it right now. He is a um, director of a movie called The Last Out, which won a special jury mention at South by Southwest. It's about baseball players in Cuba, uh, jugadores, los jugadores de baseball in Cuba, and they want to go out to America, right, to Los Estados Unidos to become baseball players. But it's a very difficult, very difficult situation. So this movie, The Last Out, is a beautiful new movie that you'll be seeing hopefully on your streaming platform soon. So tune in during the week at 10.30 or 11 a.m. Eastern, and you will see my conversations with directors like Sammy Khan. All right, moving on, we have a word of the day. One music word of the day, all right? So there will be a pop quiz. If you can get the word of the day, you will get a prize. What is the prize? A puppy giving you a trophy. There it is. See the puppy trophy? Puppy trophy. Ampero con un trophy. Para ti. For you. If you get the word of the day. So the word of the day. So the artist, the artist today, his name, Carlos, begins with a C. So the word of the day is canto. Canto. All right. It's Italian. The highest vocal part in choral music, a section or division of a poem. Canto, all right? There's no canto on today's music, but word of the day, canto. All right, check it out. Quote of the day, Coco Chanel, the great fashion designer. There is no time for cut and dried monotony. There is time for work and time for love, amor. That leaves no other time, right? There's no other time for anything else. Just make music, embrace creativity while you can, and that's all that matters, right? So let's try to focus on what matters, supporting the artists, filling our homes with great music, and enjoying the life that we've been blessed with. Coco Chanel. Moving on. These are the dogs. This is a family, family broadcast. This is Oreo. And Maui, dos perros, dos, ma dos mascotas, right? We have two dogs. They're going to be listening to Carlos and saying good music or not good music, right? So they're, they're the critics, our critics today, two dogs. <laughs> they're wonderful. We love, we love Carlos. We love his beautiful music. It's going to be two big thumbs up, right? So, so um, that is that. Uh, I also want to say, uh, I want to say congratulations to my dad. My dad, who's over there, hola, papa, his new book, this one, Close the Loop, his new book, uh, his biography, it just hit the bestseller list in the Los Angeles Times and the San Francisco Chronicle. So congratulations to my father for his new book, Close the Loop, it's a biography of his story. So uh, he's over there. Congratulations, dad. Very good. All right. Moving on. Uh, where can you find us? You can find us on Facebook, Twitter. Instagram, Instagram. You can find us on LinkedIn. You can find us everywhere. Periscope. Periscope. Up Periscope. Down Periscope. Up Periscope. Down Periscope. Up Periscope. Down Periscope. Okay. We're also on Twitch. We're everywhere. We're taking over the world. All right. <clears throat> that is it. If you want to be a show, a guest on the show, unfortunately, we're booked up for the entire series. My Lo siento. And so with that, I want to introduce you to my friend. Um, every day I talk to you about Sandra and Camilo, but now you are going to meet Sandra. She's going to come on camera with us because she's an incredible friend. She's an incredible person. 
They're great, Sandra. And because um, she uh, speaks Spanish much, much better than I speak Spanish like Tarzan. I don't speak Spanish very well, although I take Spanish lessons every day, Duolingo. So I really wanted to have our guest on today. He's an incredible flute player, uh, but I want to introduce him in a second. So first, Sandra, if you can join our conversation, I give to you Sandra. It's pronounced Sandra as in Cassandra. All right, Sandra. So, hola, Sandra. How are you? Nice. We can't hear you. It's all muted. You're all muted. We want to hear you. Okay. Hello. They're, they're the sound folks, FYI. <laughs> Just wanted to <laughs> let them know. I'm the sound guy. <laughs> I'm lost. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's so nice to see you. I haven't talked to you in forever. Thank you. I just want to say thank you for all your help on the show. After 86 episodes, it's nice to see you like this. Thank you. <laughs> now, is, is it true you have a flute with you? Let's see your flute. Well, it's a student flute, but I don't Let's know. Let's take a look. It. Let's take a. I see, don't know how to play, it. play like uh, Mary had a little lamb or something. No, I don't know. How to <laughs> <play>. <laughs> I just well, brought it in for show. <laughs> thank you for being uh, a translator on this. You, are, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say that uh, Sandra is a dear, dear friend, and she is very intelligent and very um, professional. She's, she's, you know just been a warrior in this production. So I appreciate all your kindness and capacity that you've demonstrated on this series, Sandra. Thank you for your kind words. Of course. Well, to translate. No, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so now I want to introduce our incredible guest. He is from Cuba, an incredible artist. He is uh, a genius. He's muy inteligente, muy excelente, uh, just highest order, first class professional, numero uno in the whole world. And I think that you're going to fall in love. We had his friend, Hernan Mija, on the performance a few weeks ago. And now we're going to have him. They're in the same band together. So I want to just introduce to you the wonderful maestro, Carlos Cano. Hola. Hola, hola mi amigo. I think he's muted. Okay. Hola, mi amigo. Hola, Carlos. Hola. Carlos? Hello. Ah, there you are. Hello, ¿qué tal? Hola. ¿Qué tal? El micrófono, sí. Hola. Sí, sí. sí. ¿Qué tal? How's it Mucho, going? ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> yeah. Bien. ¿Te puedes bien. acercar un poquito más bien. a la computadora? No te escucho bien. Fine. Muy bien, muy bien. So tell us... Muy bien, muy bien. Uh, Carlos, tell us sí, how has the quarantine bien. affected you and what have you had to cancel? Hola. Okay. Seems like there's a delay. Sí. Go ahead and translate, Sandra. Sí. Eh, ¿Cómo te ha afectado en uh, la cuarentena en estos tiempos y cómo y que se, ha, se te ha cancelado? ¿Me escuchas? No. Uh. Se ha I've heard when there's a delay, I just dance. Creo que me has preguntado no, no, que no cómo me ha escuchar. afectado la cuarentena, ¿no? Muy, muy, se ha sí. escuchado. Uh -huh. Hola. Sí, eso fue lo que te pregunté. Vale, uh -huh. que me has preguntado cómo me ha afectado la cuarentena, ¿no? Sí. Correcto. Vale, vale, bueno, pues eh, la verdad es que he got disconnected. Well, that's the thing, Sandra. I want to say that the sound, <laughs> the entire tech operation is here. Hey, hey, let's do say, Can you hand me your flute real quick? I want to show the audience how we do this. Give me your flute. Oh. <laughs> you need to hand me your flute. Hand me your flute. Oh, other no, way, other way. <laughs> one more time, one more time. Oh, no, no, he's back. He's back. He's back. Okay. <laughs> All right. We need to stop goofing around and have, have a show. Oh, okay. <laughs> ya te escuchamos. De, 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 la, la transmisión se ha, me, me, me ha, se ha te, sal, te salió, te, sa, te sacaron sí, automáticamente. Sacó. Sí. Okay. Bueno, que digo que cómo me ha afectado la cuarentena, pues, eh, sí. pues francamente ha sido una, una situación desagradable, ¿no? Porque hemos cancelado conciertos. Alrededor de unos siete conciertos más o menos. Yeah. It has been eh, a difficult situation and like seven concerts were canceled. 
Uh -huh. Teníamos proyectado una presentación en Finlandia, otra, otra presentación en, en Holanda. Sí, yeah, tenían cosas planeadas en in, Finlandia. ¿En Finlandia en qué más? Y en sí. Holanda, Netherlands. Uh, Holland. Um, um, y hay otros planes que también posiblemente no se llevan a cabo, como teníamos pensado ir a México. Bueno, mm -hmm. so entonces, there are other plans that maybe they won't be canceled, but yeah. going to Mexico. Uh, ask him, uh, un pregunta, ask him how uh, he structures his day and, uh, you know, how do you get through your average quarantine day? Does he make his bed? Does he have uh, practice his food every day? Sí, ¿cómo estructuras tu día en la, durante la cuarentena? ¿Cómo ¿Preparas tu cama? ¿Qué comes? <laughs> <laughs> ¿Qué practicas? <laughs> sí, eh, uh -huh. hago bastantes cosas, la verdad. He does eh, a lot of things. He, he preparado algunas obras nuevas para flauta sola, y que normalmente los flautistas tocamos más bien con piano. Oh, Entonces okay. he tenido que tocar yo solo. Okay. Um, so he's eh, I guess put he together seguido. a lot of uh, compositions for solo flutes, but you know, usually he does it with piano accompaniments. Con con uh, uh, Hernán Mija. Con claro. En, en, sí, he tenido que dar las clases, yo soy profesor, las clases, mucho tiempo dedicarle a las clases para hacerlas online. Mm, esto requiere que escuches... Spending a lot of time preparing the classes online. Uh, Carlos, uh, Carlos, ¿de dónde eras? ¿Cuba? Yes, from Cuba. Tienes de, de, una... De ¿Tienes un bandera español también? Ah, sí, pero, pero no la tengo puesta hoy. Ok, ok. Uh, I, yeah, I was asking about his flag. So we would love for you to um, play a song. What would you like to begin your performance with tonight or today? Eh, ¿Con qué quieres comenzar eh, tocando? Pues, pues voy a tocar una... una sonata pequeña de tres movimientos de Leo Brauer. Leo Brauer es un compositor cubano y esta sonata que tiene estos tres pe pequeños movimientos que se llaman preludio, tonada y pequeña tocata. Es como una especie eh, de paisaje de, del campo cubano, de la campiña. Sobre todo el segundo movimiento hay que pensar que la tonada es una, una, un género característico de la música campesina cubana, aunque, aunque aquí en esta pieza es más bien es una evocación. Ok, ok, so he's going to start with the sonata. It has three movements and uh, it basically represents the, the country of Cuba. Vamos, mi amigo. <laughs> All right, I'm good.
yeah, so good. Thank you. Stella says, bravo, Carlos. Claudia Montero, buenísimo, Carlos. Don Marie, heart, heart, clap, 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 smiley, clap, clap, heart, heart. Camilo, corazón, clap, 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 corazón, clap, 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 corazón, clap, 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 corazón, 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 clap. See? Bravo, Carlos, clap, 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 corazón, corazón. That was very, muy bueno, muy bueno. Classic. Eres, oh, Maxim Rios. Maxim Rios. Clap, 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 corazón, 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 clap, 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 corazón, corazón, corazón. Amazing. Muy excelente. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Ellas te, uh, ellos te aman. Ellos te aman. Amazing. That was, where's, where's, uh, and there's, here's Mir Mirna Garcia. Clap, clap. Sandra, I don't see you clapping. Where's the clap, Sandra? See? Tengo que traducir eso también. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Um, so, uh, t uh, the audi audience tienen uh, muchos preguntas. Um, so one uno pregunta, ¿cuántas flautas tienes? Qu ¿Cuántas flautas tienes? Wow. No sé. <laughs> he doesn't know how many flutes he has. Let's see. Uh, ¿Cuántas? I don't know. Uh, he doesn't know. Um, hay, hay flautas um, históricas. Uh, the historic sea, flutes? Uh, hay flautas que son copias de, de flautas del siglo XVIII y del uh -huh. Renacimiento, ¿vale? Yeah, eh, there are um, flutes from the 18th century and the Renaissance. Hay, hay una flauta original que tengo que es del siglo XIX, de 1826-27, por ahí, de un constructor alemán que se llama Clemen, Clemen Paisler. Um, yeah, there's one, he has one from the 1827 from composer Clem. Y después yeah. muchas flautas mm. típicas, eh, hay flautas de Colombia, eh, de Ecuador, Colombia. Eh, de Nepal, no. Bolivia. Many. Uh, mm. ¿Qué flauta tu casa ahora? Esta es una flauta, es una Powell, es una, una marca de Boston, Powell. Um, es una flauta de madera, de, de granadillo, granadilla. Mm. It's like wood flute. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, wood flute. Um, I, I like uh, el, el sonido de, de esta flauta, me gusta mucho, mucho, mucho. He likes the sound of this flute very much. Mm. So, um, yeah, my, all those flutes that he has back there, does he have to learn a new fingering for each one? How similar is it to play those flutes? Eh, en todas las flautas que tienes atrás, ¿has tenido que, que aprender un nuevo...? Eh, o sea, sí, sí. Eh, sí, sí, ente, eh, sí. Sí, con, eh, en, sí. Son diferentes, todas. They're different. Va, eh, pero digamos que hay muchas que yo las tengo simplemente como colección. No, okay. no las toco. Okay, o sea, no some of them he just doesn't play them, he just has them as a part of the collection. Pero, pero las que están arriba, que son flautas históricas, o sea, re, del renacimiento y del barroco y del clasicismo, sí, sí las toco y tienen posiciones totalmente diferentes. Okay, so es, the, es the very, ones on top from the renaissance times, he, he, yeah, he has to learn different fingering so positions. La, la digitación those. es muy difícil, es muy diferente. Okay. Yeah, it's very difficult. The, the finger in position is very difficult. And gotcha. Tell us about your, let's get his, his album up on the screen. 
Um, <clears throat> we can pick any of them, really. I, I think the one with the him, him playing with the piano, the flute music from the 20th century, it's quite beautiful, that particular record. Um, I want to ask him about that. Um, yeah, that album in particular, if we can, if we can share it. So tell us about this album. Si nos puede dejar, um, sab dejar sí. saber un poquito sobre este álbum. Uh -huh. Sí. Um, este es el primer álbum que, que hicimos Hernán y yo. Uh, es del año 2014. Del año 2014. Y esta, este disco, um, el, la particularidad que tiene es que nosotros eh, buscamos algunas piezas españolas que, que muy pocas veces se tocan en conciertos y que muy pocas veces se graban okay. y que so, casi todas ellas fueron eh, escritas para un flautista español del siglo XX para para Rafael López so del Cid. So they f in this album they picked um, songs that they mm -hmm. were particularly uh, popular and then now uh, that they would they were composed for for a solo uh, flautist. Rafael López del Cid. Rafael. López del Cid. Oh, that name. Mm -hmm. um, veo tu es, es, veo tu cara on the cover. Yes. yes eh, en esos días nos convertimos en árbol. Y entonces oh, en salimos así. They transform into trees. I like the the rices, I like the rices on the cover, the roots, very beautiful, and um, very beautiful cover. This album is Muy Bonita, Muy Bonita album, and so uh, I recommend everyone let's, um, get his website up on the screen at the bottom, so so uh, everyone who's watching, please, please, please uh, check out his website. You, you can see him on Facebook, or also org and Facebook. So subscribe there. You can also go on Spotify, Apple Music to check out the beautiful music of the incredible Henios Carlos Cano. He's, he's wonderful. Uh, un pregunta, Claudio Montera tiene un pregunta. Maybe you can translate that, Sandra. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Que si decidiste mm -hmm. tocar eh. la, la flauta G eh, en, las, en el sí, mismo sorry. registro. Pero, pero si si quieres o sea, como, yo no, yo no, eh, yo... cambiar eh, el sentimiento de no entiendo muy bien la pregunta o sea yo no yo no ahora mismo no, no estoy tocando ninguna flauta en sol esta no es una flauta en sol es una flauta en, en, en do eh, la flauta en, so, en, en g en, uh -huh. en, es una flauta un poco más grave uh -huh. Pero no entiendo bien la pregunta que no, me quieres hacer, No, como que Claudio. en general, ¿no? Si tú decides eh, tocar la, la flauta en G... Eh... Sí, sí, la toco. Tengo, tengo, ahora mismo tengo en casa, tengo una de Paquito de Rivera que, que, que se la compré a Paquito de Rivera, que es mía uh -huh. ahora. Ok, la dice en, en español. Sí. Carlos, ¿puedes ah. decir? Ah, vale, o sea... Te re, se refiere a cuando estoy tocando, si puedo cambiar de una flauta a otra en el mismo instante, sí, sin problema. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's no problem that he can change from one flute. Sí, se puede cambiar sin problema. Yeah, there is no problem. Uh, you can change it. Yeah, that's because mm -hmm. Edison Henios. So... Um, cool. We'd love to hear another song. What, what's the next um, selection? Uh, what's uh, the next song that you want to play? Oh, wait. Oh. See, si, si Clara says, play, play with my Carlos? trio. Claudia is saying, Por tu, tu cara es mi trio. Claudia Montero. <laughs> Leíste ah. lo que dice, entonces por ah, tu... Que, sí, ya. Yeah. Que era <risa> Por eso te estaba haciendo la pregunta. Vale, perfecto. So, Genial. ¿Cuál es la próxima canción, a I mí, mean, la pieza que vas a tocar? Hola, Claudia. Sí. Mira, para Claudia. 
Sí. Para Claudia, voy a dedicar estos, estos tangos de Piazzolla que voy a hacer ahora. Eh, son tangos, eh, tangos de estudios eh, que escribió Piazzolla para, para tocarse solamente la flauta. Voy a tocar, son, en realidad son seis, pero voy a tocar solamente tres. Okay. He's dedicating these uh, tangos to Claudia. They usually six, but he's only going to play three. Vamos, mi amigo. So, digo que una, una cosa solamente. Son muy difíciles porque yo tengo que imitar con la flauta el sonido del bandoneón. Okay. He, he, they're really difficult. These pieces are really difficult because he has to em imitate the sound of the bandoneón. Thank you, Sandra, for translating for us. We appreciate you, Sandra. He's inspecting his instrument. Here we go. <gasps> Thank <laughs> you. 
So good. Wow, so good. Thank you. <clears throat> On behalf, we ask our audience, we like to give out awards. Where's, where's Sandra? We like to give out awards on this show. And so on behalf of everyone at the Quarantine Concert Series, we want to give you a very, very high award. One of the top awards on the Quarantine Concert Series. Please give Carlos the Penguin Trophy, please. I am so glad to be here. Para, para ti, mi amigo. Gracias. Me encanta. Gracias. Is that my seat? Yes. <laughs> All right. We also, before you play your last one, we also want to say the word of the day winner, word of the day winner, Canto, that goes to Miguel on Instagram, Canto, 
So congratulations, Carlos, Sandra, uh, we, no, nosotros, we're giving you great felici felicitations to Miguel, Word of the Day winner. <laughs> All right. And before we go, I want to say thank you to Sandra and Camilo. Um, Sandra, I know you're behind the scenes uh, all the time, but I want to say thank you in person in the flesh. Let's put your website up on the screen. And I want to thank, um, see all the buttons she has to press. If you're an audio, if you need an artist or if you're needing an engineer, please go to soundworksrecording.com. There it is at the bottom of the screen right there. And uh, and check them out. Um, great Great people, very uh, polite, kind, professional, can get whatever you need done and hit them up for um, audio service. Camilo is also part of the operation. Let's not leave him out of the picture, even though he is out of the picture right now. So, um, hey, Camilo, <laughs> let's see your hand. Can we see your hand, Camilo? Where's the hand? We want to see the hand. There, there it is. Hey, hey, Camilo. All right, wonderful. All right, we'd like to hear your um, final piece, uh, Carlos. And uh, a question in, on Instagram that say, Carlos, Hey, uh, que uh, bebidas? You're drinking agua? Que bebidas? It's water. It's water, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, let's do your pero, final. But okay. después, del, después del concierto, sí me tomaré una cerveza. Ah. After the concert. Mi también. He's going to drink a beer. Mi también. All right. The pero final piece. ¿Qué pieza vas a tocar? Oh. Sí, voy a hacer oh. eh, dos valses de, de Lauro, Antonio Lauro. Eh, Gonna do two waltz. Es, eh, Antonio Lauro es un compositor eh, venezolano y estas do, estos dos valses lo escribió para la guitarra porque él era guitarrista. Mm. Okay, he's a Venezuelan composer Entiendo. and he wrote these waltz for guitar. Y, y estos, estos dos valses están dedicados a sus hijos, a dos de sus hijos porque tuvo más. El, el primero que voy a hacer se llama El Negrito, eh, well, que he, está dedicado the, the bueno, a uno de sus hijos. Y uh, después el vals. Vamos, mi amigo. Ajá, y una pequeña explicación. Y, y, y el segundo vals se llama Natalia, que está dedicado a su, a su hija. Hay que recordar que Lauro eh, era huérfano. Entonces eh, se tuvo que criar un, en un orfanato. Y quizás eh, con estos bases él quería decirles a sus hijos que ellos no iban a pasar por la misma situación que él, que ellos sí iban a tener un, un amor eh, paterno.
All the love for my man Carlos, our nons in the house, Don Marie from Texas. Yes. So, muchas gracias. Bravo, bravo, mi amigo. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Eres muy excelente. Muy excelente. Bravo. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for being on the show. Muchas gracias. Um, you're always welcome here. Sandra. Thank you. I was so those. Ah, okay. Do have to translate it? <laughs> no, I know, I know. Thank you so uh, much. I, thank you so much. Thank you, Sandra. It's great to see you in the flesh. Everyone, we have a great show tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern, mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to have the great Laura Bello singing. So keep it here for show number 88 tonight, 10 p.m. Eastern. Have a great day. Hey everyone. Yeah.